Hi lovies! This is F.A. Ina and once again, welcome back to my channel. Sobra akong natutuwa sa mga bagong subscribers ko recently kasi they are more interactive now with my channel and like for example um itong isa sa mga subscriber ko actually suggested this topic and I actually agree that this topic is very interesting, super. So, what are we going to talk today about my life as a cabin crew is how you deal with unruly or rude passengers in flight. Yan, tiba. Medyo nakaka-intriga naman din talaga how we deal with them, you know? Pero, just to be clear, I have nothing against our passengers or other passengers, you know, na, na nagkakaroon ng ganito klaseng behavior during sa flight. You know, um, marami talaga kasi tayong stress factors. And honestly, we all have our bad days, right? Medyo kailangan lang talaga natin yan uh, i-clear out na we have nothing against, you know, our passengers na nagkakaroon ng ganitong klaseng problem. Okay? So, it's normal. We're, we are all humans, you know. We have our bad days. Nagkataon lang talaga na natsyempohan yung flight na yon, Or may mga iba pang... Um, what they call this, considering other factors na nag-contribute, kaya sila naging unruly or road passengers. Yan. So, titignan natin, hihimayin natin yun ang kaunti. But I cannot really answer this topic in full details, you know? But I can give you an overview on how we actually deal with unruly and rude passengers, right? Baka kasi ma-apply nyo rin siya, you know, someday, di ba? Ayan naman ang ating goal talaga. Mm. So, lovies, para dun sa subscriber ko dito sa channel na to, si Brian. Hi, Brian! Yes, who suggested this topic? I'm going to answer this as much as I could, okay? And uh, sana you find it interesting. So before we get into this uh, topic, I'm just going to uh, introduce to you one word that is very essential for this matter. And this word is empathy. Yan. So empathy. Ano ba ito sabi ng empathy? I'm sure uh, many of you know what this means, you know, pero um, why is this important dito sa topic na to? Ang sabi kasi ni Google, you know, empathy. It means the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Yeah, that is empathy. Okay, so why is this important on this topic? Ano ba yung relevance ng empathy? Sa dealing with passengers that, that are unruly and rude. Lovies, diba? You remember na sinabi ko na we all have our bad days, right? Um... You know, minsan, hindi mo naman sinasadya, pero nag-pile up kasi lahat ng mga kinakabusita mo nung araw na yun, as bigla ka nalang sumabog sa isang tao. Right? Minsan, yung tao na yun, hindi mo pakilala. Totoo naman, di ba? So, you know, it happens to you and it, it also happens to other people. Itong mga bagay na to. So, saan papasok yung empathy? Right? So, like for example, delayed ng flight. Ang init-init ng ulo ng mga tao kasi... Of course, you know, some of them have, they have meetings, right? Some of them are, you know, yung schedule nila is time sensitive and they are relying on the, the punctuality of this flight. You know, they really need this flight to take off on time. So, this is just an example, right? Nung nalaman nila na biglang delayed while they're waiting for their flight. Alam mo yun, sobra na silang, na parang ang dami na nilang we no worry bigla. Na ang dami kasi maa-alter sa schedule nila just because delayed yung flight. And it's really sad to say, lovies, no? That these kinds of delays, these kinds of problems, you know, hindi talaga siya ganun kadali. Hindi siya naiiwasan. Kasi, sa totoo lang, minsan kasi ano kasi siya, it's because of the the late turnaround the aircraft, the late arrival of another aircraft na gagamitin supposedly dito sa flight na yon. Pwede rin kasi na naging masama yung panahon bigla. Pwede rin kasi na nagkaroon ng aircraft situation with regards to maintenance. Yan. So, hindi siya airworthy. Hindi siya pwedeng paliparin. Alam nga naman pilitin natin, di ba? Love is. Hmm. So, na-delay yung flight, di ba? So, ang dami-dami na lang yung know, worry. Tapos, Alam mo yun, na uminit na yung ulo nila sa ground personnel. Uminit na yung ulo nila sa lahat ng, sa kausap nila, ano pa man. Pagdating sa aeroplano, pag nakita ka nila, pag nakita, pag nakita nila kami, nakangiti pa. Siyempre, nakangiti kami while welcoming them, right? Alam mo yun, lalo silang mabubuisat kasi parang, 
At kapag nakangiti, i-delayed na nga tayo sa parang sasabihin mo sa kanila, good morning. Gaganyan ka sa kanila, bigla sasagot sa'yo, ano maganda sa morning, delayed. Parang gano'n. Ha? Ikaw kasi naka-mindset ka palagi na it's going to be a good flight, it's going to be a great flight. You know? Kasi syempre, para good mood ka and all that. Tapos biglang, ito, ayan na, bigla kang susungitan ng ganyan. Well, actually, kami, since matagal na rin kami lumilipad, you know, ito yung mga bagay na to. Ina-expect na namin na, na yung mga passengers namin, eh, sobra rin talagang may init na ang ulo pag nagkakantay ng mga delay, so any alterations with regards to the flight. Ako, actually, curious ako. Ano kayang iniisip ninyo na gagawin namin or ginagawa namin sa passengers namin when they're being rude or unruly? <laughs> Napapaisip tuloy ako. No, hindi yan. <laughs> hindi talaga. You know, it escalates sometimes, but as much as possible, if it could, if we could contain the situation, we would. I've heard of um, instances na umabot talaga sa sakit na tabulan, sa aeroplano, sa totoo lang. Pero as much as we could, you know, we could contain talaga namin, and we're not trying to have that matter escalated pa to a to a worse situation. As much as possible, di ba? Siyempre naman, mas okay naman talaga kung matatapos na yung usapan sa diplomasya. Lovies, bakit importante yung empathy? Saan papasok yung empathy dito? So, ito na si passenger, ano? Na sobra siyang irate na. Basta, lahat, parang lahat ng problema sinalunan niya. So, ano yung gagawin mo? Siyempre, as much as possible, you know, hindi mo na siya muna masyado kakausapin. Ako ha, personally, yun yung una kong ginagawa. I'm just letting the passenger have... Uh, her or his space. I mean, hin hinahayaan ko lang muna ihinga niya lahat. Yung kabusita niya. Diba? Totoo naman. Yun. So, pinakamadali kasing gawin yon. Tapos, after noon, um, babatiin mo siya pa unti-unti. Ganyan. Ia-assess mo siya kumbaga. Or how is that passenger feeling already? Medyo ia-assess mo kung medyo okay na ba siya. Ganyan. Hmm, diba? Pero kung di talaga may iwasan at yung konting kilos mo lang, eh, talaga nabubuisat siya. At bila siya sumabog sa'yo. So, Paano yun? Diba? Empathy. Yan ang una namin ginagawa. You empathize do sa passenger. Yan. So, kasi ganito yun. Once you empathize, kasi you relate yourself to that person. You're putting yourself into that person's shoes. Yan. Para maintindihan mo kung ano yung nararamdaman niya. Maintindihan mo kung, kung bakit siya nagkaganon. Tapos, you also let the person know that you understand why that person is feeling that way. Kung bakit siya nagalit. Diba? Hindi mo sasabayan ng galit din. That is the number one thing that we should not do. Yung papatulan mo yung passenger. No. Hindi kasi, of course, our job is partly service-oriented. So, when it's service-oriented, as much as possible, diba? We prioritize that. We think of that. Na... They are right. They are always right. Okay? Sige. Mahirap yun minsan, pero alam mo, minsan, it's your pride na eh. Na it's your ego na. Na natatamaan. Pero, ganun kasi talaga yun. Yun talaga yung mindset. Okay, lovies? Yan. Tapos, you empathize to the passenger. Right? Um, you try to understand why is the passenger feeling that way? Why is the passenger irritated or annoyed? Why is the passenger, yun, bigla nalang sumabog sa'yo? Diba? Iintindihin mo siya. And after that, you know, you you express to the passenger that you understand. Now, why is the passenger feeling that way? Na, naintindihan mo kung bakit siya galit. Why is the passenger behaving inappropriately? Yan. So, iintindihin mo siya. Yun yung pinakauna namin ginagawa. Iintindihin mo ang pasahero mo. Yan. Huwag mong sasabayan ng galit at lag, wag, wag mo lalong papatulan. Kasi sa totoo lang, lovies, ano yung isa nating rule? Mm. Ang pikon ay laging talo. Mm. Talaga. Lalo na pagka-service-oriented. ba diba ang trabaho mo? Pag ikaw yung napikon, talong-talo ka talaga. Wala kang ano dyan. Kasi, there are other ways to deal with these things. You know? Meron tayo na tawag na diplomasya. Tama ba? So, itatry mo muna lahat na ayusin through your words. Ganyan. Through your empathy. Do sa passenger. Okay? Now, love is, paano ko yung passenger is, you know, hindi mo ma-appease through your words, through your empathy. Paano kung talagang lalo pang nag-escalate? Alam mo yung talagang may natang ulo niya. Bigla kang pinagbumumura. You know, bigla ka nang hinampas. Or bigla, bigla na siyang naging violent. Ganyan. Kasi, love is, ganito kasi yun, ano? As a cabin crew, you are protected by laws. 
okay, may batas na nagpo-protekta sa iyo from these kinds of passengers. Regardless of the passenger situation, they are not allowed to interfere of your safety duties. Okay? They are not allowed to be uh, what they call this um physically aggressive to you. Okay? They're not allowed to hit you or ano pa man. They are not allowed to verbally abuse you. Ayan. Kwa kakabin ka. Okay? So, we are protected by these laws. Hmm? Part of our training, you know, we assess the threat level. If the, we think that they are a great threat already, their attitude, um, yung state of mind nila is already a, a threat to the flight. Yung safety ng flight. Ayan. We can we can refuse them to join us a flight. Ayan. Meron ding tayong ganon. Okay? And what if Hmm? na sa flight na yon eh dun siya nagwala naka naka ano na kayo naka take off na kayo what if dun siya nagwala dun siya nagmumura or gusto niyang gusto kanyang saktan dahil sa mo ko sa stress niya talaga is umabot na siya sa ganung klasing ano state of mind state of being gusto ko niya saktan and all that sabi ko nga di ba we are to assess the threat level there are certain threat levels kasi now, when they're already physically abusing you, ano pa man, yung nasasaktan ka niya talaga, or, or nagiging uh, risk na siya sa ibang mga pasahero, sa, sa safety ng flight, ganyan. We can restrain passengers. We know how to do that. We can actually immobilize you. Yung, yung liit ng space na yon sa aeroplano, yung aisle na yon, tumama ka lang ng isang posisyon sa harapan ko, or sa gilid ko. So, I can immobilize you. Yun, lalo na kung tatlo pa kami. <laughs> so, ganun siya, love is. Um, we are trained to do that. Na in, in to the point na kaya talaga namin silang ipin down. Every year we are being refreshed on that kind of training para alam pa rin namin how to restrain passengers. Hey. There was a time when a proficiency in foreign languages was enough training for flight attendants, but now martial arts classes have become a must. Hong Kong Airlines are offering Wing Chun classes to their staff. It's a style of Kung Fu used in close-range combat and it means unruly or drunken passengers had better look out. The first reason is Wing Chun is, was designed for women. It was designed by a woman for women. And the second reason is because Wing Chun can be used in a confined space. Like some other martial arts, use very big movements, which it would be really difficult to do in that space. Yan, kasi love is of course, sabi ko nga, ba safety is always first sa trabaho namin. If you're already a threat to the flight, sa ibang mga pasahero at sa amin, we have to do some certain actions, procedures, okay? And these are all covered by laws. O, diba sinabi ko naman din kanina na maraming factors that could, that could contribute to this unruly behavior, right, of the passenger. Pwede kasing lasing siya. <laughs> Ganun lang kasimple, lasing siya. Pumasok siya sa aeroplano na lasing siya. Ganito kasi yon. Whenever passengers go inside the plane, you know, we profile them already. Iniisa-isa iniisa na namin sila. You know, mga unusual behaviors. We we try to see if, you know, meron, meron kami may sa spot. Well, we're not, we're not fault finders, you know, but yun yung tinitinan talaga namin, yun, yung mga unusual behaviors. We are trained to do that as well. So, ang safety duties kasi namin as a cabin crew, nagsisimula pa lang pag-board na pag-board namin sa plane. And it carries on throughout the flight. Pagpasok pa lang ninyo, inag assess na kami. Okay? So, if this passenger came in intoxicated and all that, papayagan ba namin siya mag-board sa plane? If he's being, you know, unruly shouting all the time, diba? And um, hindi sila sumusunod sa mga sinasabi namin, mga safety regulations, right? Yung mga inuutos namin, parang dinadead ma lang niya kami o sinisigawan pa niya kami. Are they allowed to go with us a flight? The answer is no. Hindi pwede. Right, sit down! Sit down, please. Go get him! Go get him! Follow me! I'm going to slip out of the way for your next second. I'm going to crowd a little bit, all right? Good, sir. Where are we? Oklahoma City. Welcome to Oklahoma City. Yeah, yeah, Hopefully you won't have to stay long. I want you to stay safe. Okay, go. What? Hello, what's up? Let's go. Okay. All right. They have to be in a state 
of mind na acceptable sa flight natin. Kasi we will be capsulated inside that aircraft, you know? And pag umakit na kasing aeroplano, pag nag-take off na yung aeroplano, wala na, we're on our own. Right? So as much as we could handle things, right, sa ground pa lang, habang nakapark pa lang yung aeroplano at hindi pa umaalis, as much as possible talaga, tinatry namin siyang i-handle na. And yun yung isa sa mga bagay na kailangan namin i-assess, kailangan namin pag kasama yung mga ground personnel namin, yung mga, yung sa ground handling. Yan. Kasi syempre, habang nakabukas pa yung pintuan ng aeroplano, may chance pa kasi to rectify the situation para sa safety ng buong flight. Actually, Flavi, sa isang flight, you know, pagka talagang sumobra na nagkaroon na kunwari ng klase ng yung tipong um, ibang klaseng threat level na yung inabot yung pasahero, yung gusto na niyang pumasok sa flight deck, yung ganyan, gusto niyang sugurin yung kapitan na pa man. Yung mga bagay na ganyan, after restraining the person, Diba? Yung nakatali na siya sa upuan niya and all that or napin down mo na siya, ano pa man. The captain, which is the commander sa flight na yun, can actually arrest that passenger. Tapos pagdating niya sa, sa destination, doon na siya madedetain. Ibababa na namin siya. Pagdating pa lang sa airport, yun, may mga nakahanda na ng mga <laughs> polis na mag- like carry on yung arrest ng pasahero na ginawa ng kapitan. Yan. Yun yun. Ganun yung, ganun bali yun, ano? No. Take a seat. No. Sitting down? Really? No, I don't. Sir, I'm fine. Sit down. Sit down. Enough! You don't put your hands on my flight attendant! Enough! Yep. You hear me? Yep. You stay right there. You stay right there. I am. I am completely relaxed. That's it. And whatever you do is going on Facebook and you're a f***ing complete loser. Yep! You heard me right the first time. Yep, yep. Pull me up while you still have a chance to say face. Even though you don't. Even though you don't. So, love is ito yung isa sa mga bagay na sana never na lang mangyari. Ayaw namin talaga mangyari. Kasi, diba, aside from being a hassle, Sobra. You know, we don't really like doing that to our passengers. Kasi, love is we love our passengers. You know, they're very important to us. So, as much as possible, you know, kung makakuha siya sa diplomasya, sa empathy, as much as possible, gagawin talaga namin yun. Love is, I need to be clear lang talaga with this, ha? I have nothing against our passengers na alam mo yun, nagkakaroon ng ganitong behavior because of their uh, personal reasons, you know, or a stress factor that might have contributed to this kind of behavior. You know, sabi ko nga lahat tayo nagkakaroon ng ganitong klaseng uh, bad days. Yun nga lang, kasi syempre, sometimes, you know, it, it's how you deal with it. Um, it's up to us, kami yung mga cabin crew, kami yung mga nakakaintindi, right? kung paano namin i-handle yung passenger namin, i-appease yung passenger namin as much as possible. Para hindi na siya mag-escalate to a certain situation na ayaw din namin mangyari. Ayaw din namin kasi manakit na ibang tao, of course. Ayaw din naman namin na, na mapunta yung passenger na yung sa sitwasyon na ayaw din niya. Right? Like, like ma-aresto siya, di ba? Na hindi niya, hindi niya makuha yung flight niya dahil doon sa behavior niya na kailangan siyang pababain, i-refuse siya. Di ba? Ayaw din naman namin ng ganun. Kasi, Every passenger sa flight is important to us, right? So, love is ito na lang yun. Para siguro sa mga future passengers din natin o yung mga frequent flyers, you know, ng kahit, kahit ng ibang airlines. Okay, so regardless how you got into that flight, how you bought your ticket, if it's a piece of fare or you put, you pay the full amount of uh, the ticket fare, you have to obey the rules and regulations, you know, that is uh, actually laid out by the Philippine law, okay? So, kasama dun yung behavior nyo as a passenger. 
um, kung sakali man talaga, right, na na talaga hindi nyo may iwasan na magalit kayo, ano man. Well, of course, kami mga crew, andito lang kami. Okay? Hindi nyo kami kaaway. We're friends. We are there to actually help you. As much as possible, right? Kung talaga makakatulong kami, gagawa kami ng para. Okay? Pero, yun lang talaga. Kaibigan nyo kami. <laughs> yun lang yung gusto kong i-relay siguro na message sa lahat ng magiging pasahero namin o sa lahat ng mga frequent flyers ng lahat ng airlines dito sa Pilipinas hmm, na kaibigan kami. Yan. Pwede nyo kami kausapin anytime. Ka you, you can exhaust your frustrations to us or disappointments. May intindihan namin yan eh. And somehow, you know, we could explain matters to you. How it happened. Bakit nga bigyan ito? Bakit hindi maiwasan? Yan. So, with regards to this topic, lovey, sana may natutunan kayo. And to Brian na nag-suggest itong topic na ito, sana na-discuss ko siya ng maigi. Yan, kasi actually, I cannot really go much into details on how we assess our passengers, you know, and how to deal with threat levels and all that. Pero, believe me, pag ikaw na yung cabin crew, <laughs> hindi siya madali, actually. You have to keep in mind the actions that needs to be taken every time this situation rises up. Okay? Yeah, so ayan, love you. So, ayan, nakatapos tayo ng isang topic na yun. So, next time, ay, may surprise pala ako sa inyo ulit. Kasi maglalayover na naman ako sa isang destination. Nulain nyo kung saan. Excited ako ha, kasi always go to this uh, country. Pero wala kasi kami mahabang layover palagi. Pero ngayon, gagala tayo ng bongga. Yan, so sana mahulaan nyo kung saan. Kasi, excited ako talaga na isama kayo lahat doon. And so, paano lovies? Till the next video. Love you, lovies!